Hi there guys, this is Mario Tube 101. Now, the Nintendo DS is a fascinating handheld console for Nintendo to make. It's the first console that had touchscreen, at least that the Nintendo made. I'm not sure if anyone else made it. Oh yeah, I didn't address it. Um, if you hear random shit in the background, I apologize. Um, should have addressed that first, but that's besides the point. But yeah, um, I think it's the first console that's touchscreen. I'm not too sure about it, but it's the first one Nintendo made. I'm sure about that. But it's kind of interesting that they're still making original DS games to this day. The most recent one that I've seen is Lego Marvel Super Heroes Universe and Perel. If you look at the game card, clearly right in the front of the card it says 2014. And it is a legit DS card. Which is really, really interesting to me. And yet people seem to complain about it. Honestly, I think this is pretty cool, I guess. I mean, you got the 3DS and 3DS XL, and I shouldn't even mention the 2DS because we all know that thing is just a piece of shit. So, people ask the question, why do they still make DS games to this day? That is an interesting question indeed. I am thinking to myself that it's probably because they want people to at least enjoy the handheld consoles and since the 3DS uh, franchise might be a little bit too expensive for some people but not for the DS then maybe Nintendo thought that they can make more DS games so then the people who can't afford a 3DS but can afford a DS make or continue playing the DS games so then they won't get bored or anything so and yet people complain about it which I kinda don't understand I mean it's not like you cannot play it when you have a 3DS I mean I don't even see exactly what the problem is so I mean it's kind of funny too because, oh crap, when did Pokemon make the last debut on the original DS as far as I know of? In 2012, which apparently everyone thought was weird because with Pokemon White and Black 2, the last game they had on the DS was in 2012, at least the original DS. just just so we're clear about that and people didn't even understand why they did this they, they didn't understand why Nintendo did this when the 3DS is already out it's kind of interesting in my opinion I think they just wanted to make a sequel for uh, the original black and white version so I mean I'm not really seeing a problem with this whatsoever and they've really done a great job with the games but then again, it might be a bit of an issue to some people. Like, they might see it that way. To me, it's kind of... At least with the game I've seen, because like I said, the most recent one I've seen is uh, Universe and Perel. Um, it kind of seems like it can go in between. Because to me, I feel like that the game is not going in a good-ish direction but the only you know, downside is that this is on original DS so basically you're not gonna expect it to be like console type of thing so it has to be like a specific set but I mean it's just kinda weird but interesting at the same time it's an okay direction for these type of games but I don't think they should be suggested so, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not really sure what else to say. I mean, next next thing you know, they could make, like, another new Super Mario Brothers game on the original DS once again. I mean, you don't, like, we don't know that, which is really interesting. So, I mean, they can do anything with this. 
And like I said, I'm not understanding why people are complaining. They can play it on their 3DSs. I mean, it's not like they're left out or anything. Maybe because uh, they're thinking that the DS... Oh my god, excuse me. The DS uh, should have died like two years ago or something like that. Well, excuse me. Alright, sorry about that interruption, guys. I don't remember what I last said. I think I'm gonna try and go for what I remember. But I mean, I just don't understand what the problem is with uh, some people. I mean, it's cool that the DS is still going on when even though it should have died a couple of years ago, I mean, it's good to see that Nintendo still cares about the original DS, in my opinion. I mean, it's not that much of a big deal. So, I mean, I'm not even sure how much it costs uh, for this game, but I kind of don't really like this game much because it's not really that much to it, I guess. And the cutscenes, yeah. The cutscenes are a bad, bad direction to go when it comes to DS, the original. If it's on the 3DS, then you have a better chance, by far. So, basically, my suggestions, uh, if I were to work at Nintendo, would be if I wanted to keep the DS, the original, still alive, then I wouldn't want to go with something like Lego Marvel Super Heroes. I would probably go for, like, more of an adventure or a platforming type of game because, I mean... It's like the DS can handle it pretty good. I mean, I don't see the huge issue. Or maybe even another. Well, okay, now another Pokemon game because we already know that there's a remake. So I mean, they can't just keep making them all not random. Um, going for cutscenes is not a good idea unless you're using the game's graphics, not like freaking trying to go for console but then lowering the resolution a lot so I mean that's something right there and yeah I mean just don't go for the bad ideas and just go for the better ideas just go for the greater go for what the DS is best at go for that not for what the DS uh, like just don't go for something you want to like make on the original DS go sir go for something you just want to have it do best at anyways I think that's pretty much all that there needs to be said so if you enjoy this uh, video comment rate subscribe if you have any questions uh, and whatnots leave it in the comments below and at this point from the last video if it's not the last video it's probably the next because I haven't uploaded it yet then if like in case you didn't see the last video if it's not okay I don't know what I'm talking about ah failure okay if the last video isn't an update video then basically I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown basically the epic winner bought a tripod and it's not like a small ass tripod, it's a huge ass one, which is really good, and me and him figured out a way to record my computer screen without like any screen recorders or crap like that. Well, it's not really crap, but my computer won't handle it. So then, I could just be able to get, continue playing without any problems. So yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty much the basic thing, really, so yeah, anyways, I will also suggest, or have suggestions on anything and yeah so basically that's pretty much it so i will see you guys in the next video bye bye